I knew that I was wrong, is probably the way I would put it, in my, if I was in my younger head, very early, like 11. I came out to all of my friends and family way before I came out publicly. It was later than I'd prefer, so in my late teens, um, my best friend and my sister both got letters. <laughs> Coming out is such a weird concept when you think about it in any detail. Because what people often mean that somebody's come out is it means that they know that person is LGBT. And that's not really what it is. Coming out is supposed to be about talking, being authentic with the people who love you and who you love, the people who you care about and who care about you, the people with whom you have real, authentic, layered relationships, know more about you so that you can interact in a way that feels more respectful and honest. But when I came out publicly, it was this big, huge thing that instead of, it did the opposite of what coming out to my family did. Coming out to my family and friends created a, a more authentic, um, charged, kind of rich experience. You share something about yourself that creates vulnerability, perhaps a risk. And the other person responds in, in a way that recognizes the gravity of somebody taking something of theirs that is precious and giving it to you. I think that's the most important thing about coming out. People need to understand that you have to deserve to be told. That's the real key. Coming out publicly so that just any person I walk past on the street will have seen my face in a newspaper squashed me flat into just that gay guy. The, the fact was that the second that everybody knew I was gay, everything else disappeared. You just disappeared into a label. That's what happens when we are careless with our conversations around identity. Progress is sometimes the enemy of real change. So is it better than the 1970s for gay people? Yeah, yeah, it's better. Is it better than the 1980s, 1990s? Yeah, it's better. Better than 2000? Yes, it's better. 2010? Better. Is it equity? No. I'm 51 years old. I've never held my partner's hand in public. So there's work to do still on this. We're not there yet.